Okay, so today we're gonna go over three mistakes that buyers make in the home buying process. Too late, it's too late now. Stay tuned. I'm a man on a mission. My mission is to help people break through all the noise out there. And Don't need no permission. I wanna help you get to actual truth. Don't you just want the truth? Okay, if you're buying a house, you gotta know there's a bunch of moving parts, right? You have gotta get the right team involved. But here are three mistakes that I see all the time that buyers make just too late. One, not negotiating a proper repair limit up front. A proper repair limit up front. I've seen people say it's an as-is contract. Is it? Is it the only way that that seller will consider it is an as-is contract? There are some sellers that that's true. It may be a bank, it may be a, um, a credit union, it may be an individual who just inherited the property and has no money. So perhaps it's true. But for the most part, you can get a repair limit. Now a good listing agent or seller side is going to try and limit this as much as possible. Make sense? They're gonna try and limit this. A good buyer's agent is gonna try and get you as much repair limit as possible. Now, just so you know, the state of Florida actually defaults. There's three sections on the repair contract on a regular Florida Association of Realtors contract. There's three lines. One says one and a half percent, the seller will pay one and a half percent of the purchase price for anything found in the home inspection, basically, for anything found in those inspections. Second line, one and a half percent of the purchase price for anything found in the termite inspection or the wood destroying organism report. And finally, one and a half percent of the purchase price for anything to close out permits. So that's what the contract defaults to. And when I represent a seller, I usually limit those. Depends on the purchase price. I got one right now that's limited 500 bucks. 500 bucks repairs. It's a hundred thousand dollar house, that's all it is. So we limited all of that to $500. But think about it, if I would have left that alone, then that buyer would have had up to $1,500 for anything found in the home inspection. An additional $1,500 for anything found in the wood destroying organism report. An additional $1,500 for anything found to close out permits. That would have put my seller potentially paying $4,500 in repairs. This is a big one. Buyers don't do this. They do not do uh, the proper repair limits. Two, not getting a pre-approval first. Now I know that everybody wants to skip that step because it's so much more fun to look, just look at houses. Let's just go open the doors and look at them. If we find something we like, we'll go talk to the bank. Wrong. Don't do that, especially in today's market. All right, if you watch on my Facebook page, I'm just gonna plug it real quick, Shane Willis, the realtor, facebook.com forward slash Shane Willis, the realtor. Yeah, cheap plug, don't worry about it. If you watch that, I have a weekly podcast or vlog over there, so I do a video and I show how the market is here in Escambia County and Santa Rosa County. So you see the price points. This is a hyper seller's market. This is a hyper buyer's market. So if we're at that price point where it's either neutral or a seller's and you don't get the pre-approval first, you're just wasting your time going to see the property because guess what? It may take you a day or two to get this and in that day or two time frame, if it's a hyper seller's market, you just lost the house. So I've seen people in tears. I've literally seen buyers in tears crying to me to not accept an offer because I represented the seller, to not accept an offer, give them two more days to get their pre-approval done. My fiduciary responsibility was to the seller. We had a really good offer, it was over list price. I had to take the bird in the hand. It broke my heart because the couple, nice couple, they loved the house, they fell in love with the house, they were in tears over it. You gotta get the pre-approval first. Number three. <laughs> not choosing the real estate team. Not choosing the right real estate team. Period. Not choosing the right real estate team. If you've seen some averages, there's 1.3 million, 1.3 million licensed real estate agents in the country. Less than half, half, 50% sell one house a year. One. Can you believe that? I mean, what, 700,000? 600,000, 650,000 realtors don't even sell a house. Not one. The top 3% in the country sell more than 20 houses in a year. So do you think picking the right team that knows how to negotiate, that has training in negotiation, that gets you a higher repair limit, 
understands the process is full time, that makes all the difference in the world. All right, there you go. Three mistakes buyers make in the home buying process. Too late. I'm a man on a mission. My mission is to help people break through all the noise out there. And Don't need no permission. I want to help you get to actual truth. Don't you just want the truth?